Hi, my name is Christina Mune. I'm a SLIS student and a desire to learn faculty trainer for the SJSU SLIS program. Homepage widgets and desire to learn allow instructors to easily present a lot of great interactive information to their students. One way to do that is by creating an RSS feed widget in Desire to Learn. Some instructors might want to use a feed widget to share their own blog or Twitter postings, but you don't have to be a blogger for this to be a great tool. One really useful application is using the widget to alert students about new positions from around the country by creating a job opportunity feed and showing it on your homepage. This feed, which I've titled LIS Jobs and put on my course homepage, shows positions from Educause, ALA, and LISjobs.com. Students can easily see the type of job, the geographical location, and then click on it for more information. Most job searching sites also allow you to choose specific areas of interest, such as academic libraries or archives, to tailor your feed. As a quick assignment, I might ask students to write a synopsis of different job prospects in their field of interest and how they would prepare for that position using postings from the feed. Another good application of it is to use the Twitter hashtag of a conference to show a feed that shows all the tweets associated with the conference. So the whole time I was at Internet Library in 2011, all the tweets from that conference appeared here on the left column of my course homepage. I might ask students to click on at least two tweets, read them, and post about them in the discussion forums. Because there are so many different tweets, this should create a diverse discussion for the week. You can also simply share your favorite blogs with students using the widget. I like the Annoyed Librarian myself, so I put it here under my News widget and then use my news announcements to ask them to discuss certain posts that I think are important from the blog. I'm going to show you how to create this type of aggregate feed and place it in a widget on your D2L homepage. It's only going to take a few minutes and is totally free. The first thing you want to do is sign up for an account at WebRSS. This is a free online application that allows you to combine RSS feeds and create a JavaScript code you simply cut and paste into D2L, no technical know-how required. It's known as a feed aggregator because it can take many RSS feeds and make it into one custom widget just for you. To sign up, all you need to give is your name and an email address. That's it. Once you log in, you'll have the option to create a new widget. This is what you want. Under Create Widgets, you'll click Add New Feed. So here's where we put in the RSS feed URLs. This is really the fun part. Now we get to find the feeds we want to share with our students. So I actually love to look for jobs on Educause. They have great opportunities all over the place for techie library geeks like myself. If I want to share the jobs on Educause with my students in real time with no effort on my part, an RSS widget will do that for me. So here I am on my Educause Job Seeker site and I need to find the RSS feed icon which is here. But note this message, I can set up an RSS feed with the search criteria that I'm using now. And I didn't do a search but I could do one, say for web librarian or maybe only jobs in California and then my feed would show only those jobs listed that fit that search criteria. Criteria. For now, I'm just going to put all their jobs on my feed by clicking on the RSS feed icon and getting the subscription page. I copy the subscription page URL and paste it into my new feed widget in the web RSS. But I want to give them a lot of jobs to look at, so I also go to the ALA job list site and here's their RSS feed icon. I click on that and copy their RSS feed URL as well. To add that to my widget, I click Add Another Feed. But maybe I also want to give my students the latest LIS news. So I go to LISnews.org and look for their feed widget. And I don't see it at the top, but if I scroll down, it's here on the right, and it says XML instead of RSS. But if I click on that, I'll see the URL has RSS.XML. So I'm going to copy that and add it to my widget as well. I could actually add hundreds of feeds to my widget. There's no limit, so whatever you're interested in, you can add to your feed. And I'll click Create New Feed. At this point, you have over 170 formatting options for your widget. Everything you select will preview for you here on the right side of the screen. Some things I recommend is to display the, freeze, the feed source so they know where the job posting is coming from. For a D2L widget, the panelist should be 400, and if we're going to have a scrolling widget, we're going to have 50 max items to display. For the show item description, if I'm doing a job listing widget, I'm going to say none because the title of the job post is probably 
enough for the students to know if they want to click on it or not. If I'm doing a Twitter feed, I'm going to choose full because it's only 140 characters anyway. I want to show them the date so they know when it was posted, and I want the links to open in a new window so that it doesn't take them away from their D2L homepage. I also want to choose to show the RSS subscription icon. This allows you to this allows students to subscribe to your aggregated feed. They can look at your blog, news, or job listing feed long after the particular course is over. In fact, this feed will continue as long as you don't delete it from your web RSS account. Then you're going to set all the formatting options that you like. I particularly like scrolling item because it allows the feed to scroll within the D2L widget. And you can make it flashy with lots of different colors. Once you're done, you'll hit save and grab code. From this screen, you'll want to choose JavaScript and that'll produce the JavaScript code you need here. But first I want to build my D2L widget, so let's leave this window open and go to my D2L homepage. From here I want to decide what column I want it in. I like it under News in the middle column so that it doesn't push anything off the screen if it gets a bit long. I'll click on Edit Course, Widgets, and New Widget. The first thing I'm going to do is name my widget. I'm going to name mine LS LIS Jobs and News. Then I'll click Save. Once it's saved, I'll click on the Content tab. And here I'll see the text editor. But what I really want is the HTML source editor, which is this icon here at the bottom. This is where I'm going to paste in my JavaScript. So I go back to my RSS widget application, copy my JavaScript, and paste it into my HTML source editor. I'll click Update. Now I won't see anything in my text editor. That's okay. You still want to click Save. And when you click on Preview Widget, you'll see that your feed is there. If you like your feed, great. If you don't, you can always go back to WebRSS and edit it. To do that, we go to Manage Widget in our WebRSS application. This will give you a list of all the widgets that you've made. You can make as many as you'd like, one for every class, one for yourself, for your mom, for your dog, whoever. To edit the setting for your widget, you'll click on the Settings hyperlink by the widget that you've been working on. So here we could actually change our background color to pink. And you'll want to remember to save your settings. But you don't need to repaste your code. The aggregate feed in desire to learn will actually automatically update once you refresh the page. So if we preview our widget now, we'll see the background is pink. The only thing we have left to do is add this widget to our D2L homepage. To do that, you'll click on Home Pages and then click on the copy of course default so you can edit it. You'll click on the content layout tab and here under the center panel we'll click add widget. The listing is alphabetical so we want to find L for LIS jobs and news. Select the box and click save. We'll now see the LIS jobs and news widget on our homepage layout. To preview how that looks we'll click on preview homepage and here's our feed on our Desire to Learn homepage. So we're all out of time for now, but I hope this gives you some ideas for creating custom widgets on your D2L homepage. There's also a step-by-step -step tutorial attached so you can follow along at your own pace and create different kinds of feeds. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have fun with aggregated feeds and custom widgets.